By now, most of us are used to the idea of keeping track of our body's performance and wellness through the use of wearable devices like this Google Pixel Watch 2. Not only does my Pixel Watch 2 give me the time, the date, and my notifications, but it helps me to track things like my activity and my heart rate and can even do things like an ECG. Now, while these devices are not completely accurate, we still rely on them to kind of keep us in tune with the way our body is performing. Today, we'll be taking a look at a different type of wearable by Apollo. The Apollo wearable, instead of taking data from your body, like my Pixel Watch 2, this actually gives data to your body through waves and vibrations. In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the Apollo wearable device itself, the science behind how this works, and some of the clinical tests and trials which seek to validate the efficacy of this device and all of its claims. Big shout outs to Apollo for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. Right up front, we have the Apollo wearable device. We have the Apollo clip. This can actually be clipped to clothing and garments and use that way. Here's your wrist slash ankle strap. This comes with a USB A to micro USB charge cable. And this is rechargeable with micro USB. I would have loved to have seen USB-C here, uh, but it is rechargeable via micro USB. You've got two starting guides, one for the strap and one for the clip, and then you have your various uh, warranties and warnings. Let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm gonna be using this with the wrist strap, so you'll take the textured side up, and you'll feed this all the way until you get down to the metal ring. Okay, and then you should just be able to strap this onto your wrist. Let's go ahead and get this set up so you'll log into the app here. It's asking you to wake up the Apollo by pressing and releasing the button, and then it asks for the color that's on the device. So we've got blue. Okay, it's already found the device. And okay, now it wants us to put the Apollo on our wrist. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can press and hold both buttons to pause or play. And I can definitely feel the vibrations there. I'm press and release either button to increase or decrease the intensity. They do recommend that you start low and then work your way up. It goes from a pretty light vibration to a pretty powerful vibration. And then it just gives you more information about the device. Real quickly, we'll kind of run through the application and how you can control the Apollo wearable. So if you go to the Apollo button here, um, they do have a subscription service here called Smart Vibes, so you get even more features if you do unlock that, but there are plenty of different vibes that you can choose from within the app. So you've got some vibes for energy here. You've got social vibes. Uh, this, is, this can go for 120 minutes. All you have to do is press play, and it gives you that specific vibe. You can also pause it there. Uh, they've got one for focus, recovery, calm, unwind, and fall asleep. If we go to me, this is gonna give you a benefit score for calm, sleep, and focus. And then the smart vibes, this is where you can purchase your year membership here for even more vibes. And personalized stress relief is coming soon as well. You can schedule this. So you can schedule a specific setting for a specific time during the day. That way you don't even have to think about it. This will run through the routine by itself. You won't even have to go into the app and turn this on and off. It'll just do it automatically throughout the day. The Discover tab here allows you to input how you're feeling and what you're doing, and then it can give you a specific vibe that goes along with your current mood and activity. And then they have a few featured here. Um, at the top, it's gonna give you your battery percentage for your device and there are some other settings here as well. My first impressions of the Apollo wearable is that it is pretty comfortable to use and it's also pretty easy to just kind of forget that it's on my wrist at all. The device itself is a bit thick, so you're definitely going to notice it at first, but as time goes on, you'll forget it's there. Using the Apollo wearable during the day and night gives you the same physical and mental benefits of mindful practices like breath work or meditation. The Apollo wearable can also give you more energy to power through your day and help you sleep better all night. All you have to do is put it on 
and feel the soothing vibrations. It's like a remote control for how we want to feel throughout the day. For a moment, I'd like to talk to you about the science behind the Apollo wearable and how this can benefit your system. Your nervous system, it's here to protect us. Sometimes it can get in the way. When you encounter stressful situations, it can put your body into a flight or fight state. Now, this is super useful if you're being attacked by a bear, but it is not as useful if maybe you just need to stand in front of an audience of people and share some words and thoughts. You shouldn't have the same amount of stress from that situation as you do with a bear attacking you because obviously you're not in a life or death situation. Chronic stressful situations can affect the body by overactivating the sympathetic nervous system. This sends hormones like cortisol into the body making breathing shallower and faster and sending the heart rate up. When the fight or flight response is overactive, this can make us less relaxed, less focused. This is your body's way of telling your mind that you're unsafe, but some situations don't really call for this response. The sense of touch is a key way that our body relieves stress, which explains why hugging a loved one or petting your family's favorite pet is definitely a great way to release stress and anxiety. The Apollo wearable works by sending low frequency, silent sound waves to your nervous system. Apollo has officially completed seven clinical trials with 14 other clinical trials currently in progress. So we'll find out even more about the efficacy of this product soon. I think it's very important to mention the high standard that Apollo holds themselves to when conducting these trials. All of their studies are conducted by independent university investigators and researchers that have no financial relationship with Apollo unless it's been clearly stated otherwise in the reports. I think this is super important as it helps to reduce bias in the overall findings of these trials and tests. Another thing that I think is super impressive here, two of their studies are double-blind randomized placebo-controlled crossover trials. This is seen as the global standard in scientific methodology, and these types of studies are accepted as producing results that are untainted by bias. Apollo wearable users experience up to 40% less stress and feeling of anxiety on average, up to 19% more time in deep sleep, 11% increase in HRV on average, and up to 25% more focus and concentration. The studies that have been conducted are very interesting, and you can read all of the studies and all of the findings on their website. Overall, these studies definitely back up the claims that Apollo makes with their wearable device. The Apollo wearable is $299.99 at the time of this video's filming. That being said, I think it's very important to say here that this should not be considered a cure-all, but rather a tool in your arsenal for helping to maintain your nervous system. There are lots of things that you can do to help to maintain your nervous system, like meditation, exercise, make sure you get enough sleep, your diet, all of these things together can help you to have a better experience with your nervous system. I'm definitely going to be using this over the next few months and I'll be sure to come back and report my findings. I'll be sure to include links in the description where you can find more information on the Apollo wearable. Take a look at some of those studies and clinical trials that they did with this device. And of course, purchase one for yourself do be sure to use that link in the description below. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.